Previous versions of Godot all came with an image named icon.png, which was really useful as a placeholder in new projects. Well, in Godot 4.0, icon.png is no more. It has been replaced by icon.svg. It's a vector file with infinite resolution. But you may ask, why? Because Godot rasterizes it into a pixel image anyways. Well, the reason why is actually pretty nifty. So, the default rasterization of the icon.svg file is 128 by 128. But when you're prototyping a game that has tiles of the size 32 by 32, then such a large image is not very useful. What you can now do is go into the import settings of your icon.svg file, scroll all the way down and change the scale factor. If we scale it down to 25% of its original scale, we get a 32 by 32 image. And with this, prototyping becomes a lot easier. Now you can have a placeholder image in any size that you like. Yeah, that was it. Bye-bye.